This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. M16 allegedly found on the Trelawney fisherman's bed. A Trelawney fisherman was arrested and charged after an M16 rifle and several rounds of ammunition was allegedly found in his home in Scarlet Hall District in the parish on July 1. The police said 39-year-old Corey Brown has been charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. Lawmen said that about 5.30 a.m., officers conducted a search of a premises occupied by Brown where one unassembled M16 Colt rifle was found under a bed along with two magazines containing 31 5.56 cartridges. The police said a further search was carried out at the back of the premises where two bottles were found one containing 10.40 rounds of ammunition and the other containing 12.44 rounds of ammunition. Brown's court date is being finalized. Residents protest after a woman shot dead by police in St. Andrew. A woman was shot dead during a confrontation with the police Monday morning. The woman has been identified as 36-year-old Toshiba McLeod. The Constabulary Communication Unit confirmed that the shooting which reportedly happened about 3.40 a.m. on Seaward Drive off Malines Road in St. Andrew. No firearm was recovered, but the incident involved a knife, a representative said. Reports reaching the news are that McLeod was involved in a dispute with a man when the police were called to intervene. After the arrival of the lawmen, McLeod's infant child was reportedly placed in a police service vehicle. She allegedly then advanced to the police with a knife and was shot after disobeying instructions to drop the weapon. She was rushed to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Residents took to the streets later in the morning and blocked the road to protest the shooting alleging police brutality. Eight-year-old raped on way to church. An eight-year-old girl of a St. Thomas address was allegedly abducted and raped by a lone man on Saturday. According to reports, the child was walking to church with her cousin along a dirt road in the parish when they were pounced on by the attacker. After ordering them into the bushes, the man tied the hands of the family member and forced the eight-year-old to remove her clothes and proceeded to perform lewd sexual acts. A report was made to the police and she was examined by doctors. The suspect was later apprehended and placed into custody. The Morant Bay police are carrying out investigations. Child sexual assault has been a source of major concern among Jamaica's national security and child welfare organizations, especially since COVID-19 restrictions shut off readily available outlets for reporting crimes and the alerting of suspicious behavior. More than 3,265 children were sexually abused between January 2020 and March 2021, according to statistics from Jamaica's multi-agency child sex abuse investigative team. But even not counting COVID-19, child sex abuse is believed to be historically underreported. Two high school students among five robber suspects arrested. Two high school students were among five persons taken into custody on Saturday following an armed robbery in downtown Montego Bay, St. James. Investigators reported that Five males held up and robbed an appliance and furniture store on King Street. They stole cellular phones and jewels valued at more than half a million dollars. The police conducted operations on King Street and took the five individuals into custody after they were reportedly found in possession of some of the stolen items. Man in custody for rumbling double murder. The police are reporting that a man has been taken into custody in relation to the shooting deaths of two men on Rum Lane in Kingston last Friday. The police say he was picked up by cops attached to the Kingston Central Police this afternoon in a targeted operation. They say he's to be interviewed in the presence of an attorney. The police had reported that about 1.30 p.m., a gunman got out of a car on North Street and then walked onto Rum Lane, where a group of people were sitting. He then opened fire, hitting five people, two fatally. The gunman then ran back to North Street and escaped in a waiting motor car. The injured persons were taken to hospital, where the two were pronounced dead. The deceased were later identified as 24-year-old Ian Tiki Reed 
and 28-year-old O'Shane Watson. Portland man fatally shot at bar. The Portland police have not yet established a motive for the shooting death of a man in the quiet district of Windsor in the Rio Grande Valley on Saturday evening. Police sources said that 67-year-old Lorraine Ming, a former cricketer, was attacked inside a bar shortly after 7.30 p.m. during heavy rain associated with Tropical Storm Elsa. According to the police, Ming was playing a poker box when a man entered the premises and opened fire. Ming was found suffering from gunshot wounds to his upper body. The gruesome murder has shocked the residents who described him as an honest, sincere, and friendly person. Ten persons have been murdered in the Portland Police Division since the start of 2021. Work ongoing to reopen roads affected by Elsa's passage. Work continues to reopen roads which were affected during the passage of Tropical Storm Elsa on Sunday. The storm flooded communities and left a trail of debris. NWA Communication Manager Stephen Shaw said the Bogwalk Gorge was reopened Sunday night. However, he is advising motorists to exercise extreme caution as there is still the possibility of boulders falling from the hillside. Mr. Shaw said Hagley Gap in St. Thomas is also getting attention to address issues with fords and possible landslides. He said the NWA should complete cleanup activities by Tuesday as long as it's not an issue where you would have had, let us say, a wall collapsing or the embankment breaking away. Motorists are still having challenges using the Grand Spen Main Road in St. Thomas, which had been rendered impassable by floodwaters during the passage of Tropical Storm Elsa. On Monday, the road was reduced to a single lane and persons were seen directing traffic. The road is in the vicinity of the Southern Coastal Highway, which is under construction. While the highway is not yet open, some motorists were reportedly allowed to use the area under construction to avoid the Grand Spen Road. The NWA said loose material washing from the hillside and the road being at its lowest point resulted in the flooding. Biker killed in St. Anne crash, car driver on the run. Police are searching for a driver of a brown Toyota Corolla involved in a crash that left a motorcyclist dead in St. Anne on Monday. The deceased biker has not yet been identified. An officer on the scene told the news that the motorcyclist was traveling towards Trelawney when the car, which was traveling in the opposite direction, struck the biker from his vehicle. The incident occurred shortly after 8.30 a.m. in the vicinity of Old Folly Road. Alleged eyewitnesses said the motorcyclist, believed to be in his late 30s, unsuccessfully attempted to avoid the car as it sped towards him. The biker, who was clad in a brown t-shirt and a pair of shorts, according to the alleged witnesses, was rushed to the nearby hospital by an ambulance provided by the Narada Bauxite Company. He later died. The driver of the Toyota Corolla fled the scene before the officers arrived. Six more COVID-19 deaths, 35 new cases. Jamaica has recorded six more COVID-19 fatalities, pushing the tally to 1,094. Those who have died are an 82-year-old woman from St. Elizabeth, a 61-year-old man from Kingston and St. Andrew, a 45-year-old woman from St. James, a 61-year-old man from St. James, a 90-year-old man from Kingston and St. Andrew, and a 57-year-old man also from Kingston and St. Andrew. The Ministry of Health reported that one of the deaths were previously under investigation. Meanwhile, there were 35 new cases with ages ranging from 14 days to 91 years, pushing the total to 50,389 with 16,327 being active. Of the new cases, 20 are women and 15 are men. St. James dominates the new cases with 11 being recorded, followed by Westmoreland with 7, and then Hanover with 5. A total of 1,719 tests were conducted. The country's positivity rate stands at 11.3%. In the meantime, there were 1,059 more recoveries, increasing the total to 32,604. Some 108 persons are in hospital, with 28 being moderately ill and 13 critically ill. Four persons are in government quarantine, while 41,210 are at home. 
Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.